guys and welcome to today's video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Katie and I make videos on basically like uni stuff like this one, makeup and travel as well. It would mean the world to me if you did subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I hope this one helps you in some way. So today I am going to give you my top 10 tips on freshers. If you don't know what freshers is, if you're not from the UK, it's basically, so your whole first year at uni, you're a fresher, but freshers is your first week or like two weeks at uni. And it's basically just like when you're getting to know everyone, there's lots of events going on, lots of club nights. So I thought as someone who's about to go into second year, I would give you what I learned from my freshers experience. And my battery is flashing, so I'm gonna change that and then I will be back. Back, <laughs> I have changed my camera battery. Anyway, so I'm going to get into my top 10 tips now. So I've written them all down on my phone. So my first tip is to, when you get into your university halls, is to keep your door open, just because it means that when your flatmates are moving in as well, then they're not gonna have to like knock on your door. And I don't know, it's just a lot easier to be chatting and stuff with people if you do leave your door open because no one's gonna be like, oh, maybe they don't wanna be disturbed, maybe I won't knock on their door, simply because I know that I like, I don't know, if you don't really know people, you don't really wanna knock on their door and see if they wanna talk to you. Like, it's easier if you just leave your door open so that you can get chatting to your flatmates. My second tip to, is like another kind of making friends ones, is either go to another flat's prees with your flat or get your flat to host prees, so my flat, hosted quite a lot of pre's well like throughout the year but especially during freshers and we'd put it in our house chat so our flat was eight people but there was 64 people in our house all together it meant that the other flats would come up to our flat and it just meant that during freshers like we got to meet a lot more people it's like one of my best friends at uni fern who has been in a video before if it weren't for like inviting her down to pre's I'm not sure that I ever really would have like met her and like obviously I'm really happy that we did host pre's because it meant I got to meet her that's like a good idea because like, I know other people in my house as well just from doing that the next one is something that you should probably do before you arrive is I don't know about other universities but I assume they're the same but personally at my university we had a lot of different um, group chats and also group pages so there'd be like different pages for different halls a main page and then also like a page for events as well so join all of them and get chatting on them so like join your house chat your flat chat and then also like your subject chat so it means that you can get talking to people before you arrive so you kind of know what everyone else is doing and also it means that it's a little less daunting coming to uni and meeting all these people because you've spoken to them before even if it just is online but definitely for uni socializing especially in freshers facebook is where it's at like i know facebook is a little bit like old school now but for anything uni related, Facebook is where you need to be. So just search your uni, kind of like, I don't know, search whatever your uni name is and then freshers and then all the pages will come up and just make sure you join the one with the right to year. So leading on from that, the reason you really want to find out who your flat is and a way you can do this is by going into your Facebook group for your halls and then typing I'm in house, blah, 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 flat, blah, 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 anyone else. And then you'll find who's in your flat and it just means that you know who's in your flat before you get there so again it's less daunting and it also means that you can decide as a flat as they are the people who you're going to be spending freshers with what you're doing during freshers so personally at my uni there's a thing called the paper wristband and it's basically three weeks worth of freshers on one wristband so there's three unis in um, my city and we do two weeks of freshers because we get there a week later than the Met Uni that's there. Like they could do three weeks and it just means that you can get the wristband and then basically get into a different club every single night. Like each club has a different like, theme or whatever. Then also like our SU did a band as well and they had a different thing every night. So it's good to go on that just so that you can find out 
what your flat are doing so you can all buy the same wristband. I know that a lot, a lot of people online are like, don't buy the wristband. And I don't know why those people say that because honestly, um, me and my flat bought paper wristbands and it was well worth the money. Like we used them, had a good time during freshers at all of the different events we went to. So personally, I would really recommend that you get the wristband because it means you don't really have to worry about what club you're going to because it's kind of like a schedule is planned out for you. But yeah, that's kind of my tip for if you're not sure on whether to get a wristband or not, is just get it. Like, it's 30 quid, and club entry on the night is like, I don't know, like seven or eight pounds anyway, so you might as well just get the wristband. So my next tip is to do with people on your course. So during induction week, you have lots of different events. They're not really events, basically different like lectures and stuff to tell you what's going on. My tip is just to talk to everyone that you meet during this week so you kind of know who's on your course so that you'll have people to sit next to. And also another way to meet people from your course is to, in your halls of residences chat, type in, is anyone walking to this lecture from this place? And then someone will be like, oh yeah, I don't have anyone to walk with, let's walk together. That's kind of like what I I did I did it in my house chat and it meant that I met everyone who did English lit with me and like I had people to walk to these things with yeah and like the people that I walk to English lit with are the people that I'm living with next year so like you can make your best friends through just asking anyone if they want to walk with you on one of the chats so that's a really good tip number six I would definitely recommend either downloading the uber app the app of your local taxi firm I know that our local taxi firm at uni has an app that you can order from and like pay from and the uni endorse it as well or making sure you have your local taxi phone number in your phone this didn't happen to me but just in case it does make sure that you do have one of these things like taxis so that you have a way of getting home if you lose like whoever you're out with personally like i stuck with the people i went out with but um yeah there was definitely like a few people that i've met who lost whoever they were with and i think the safest way to get home if you don't know who you're with is just to get a taxi rather than getting some stranger from a club to walk home that's probably quite a decent tip for freshers especially if you're coming from somewhere quite small where you don't have the uber app so perhaps you don't you haven't used it before just set it up before you go on your first night out it's really really easy uh, but yeah you can just like order it from the app it will pay from the app as well and it's just so easy and it's just a good like curiosity blanket to make sure you know you definitely have a way to get home even if you like lose your money or something a similar note is to make sure that you don't lose like your money or anything i would say have like small bags like these two this one's from Boohoo and I believe this one's from Accessorize. Just to take your stuff into a club. Personally, a lot of my friends just take like their card in their phone. But personally, I really like to take a bag so that like this is quite a decent size bag. So I could fit my room key in it. I could fit my phone. I could fit my cards. I could fit my ID. I could fit like an extra charger for my phone. I could fit money just so that you're like, I don't know, secure. With what you've got and also i always get ones with a strap like this so you can kind of like wear it cross body so you kind of know that you're not going to lose it so that's my tip and i do that when i'm at home as well not just at uni number eight is to do with freshers flu so i would say make sure that you like eat properly so like cook yourself proper meals and also take vitamins just to try and avoid as much as possible of getting freshers flu because I got it and it was just horrendous it was horrible I was ill for quite a few days and I just like wouldn't wish freshers flu on anyone so do everything you can to avoid getting freshers flu number nine following on from that take Lemzip and paracetamol if you can take them with you so that if you do get ill you're not relying on your like flat to go and get your medication and then number 10 is go to your freshers fair to make sure you find out about all the different societies that the university have most universities have loads of different societies ranging from your subject ones to like some of my friends do wild swimming which like they go some remote place and go swim in a river which like i could never do but they really enjoy it um and then like there's other societies like vegetarian society, fashion society. But yeah, I definitely recommend going to the society's fair and talking to any that you might be interested in to see kind of what they do. So personally, I am part of my English Lit and Philosophy societies. 
and then also the fashion society as well which i joined kind of like later in the year but that one was a really good one because they did a lot of like makeup classes with urban decay that like we only had to pay like five pounds for yeah they were really good so i definitely recommend that you join societies because it's also another way to meet different people and also just to make your uni experience a little bit like more diverse and fun. You've got loads of different social activities going on. And definitely make sure that you're liking all of your societies like Facebook page, Twitter page, Instagram page, so that you know everything that's going on. Personally, I am the new social media rep for um, my English Lit Society, so I'm gonna be making sure that I get all of the freshers to kind of like like our stuff, tell them what's going on, just so that they know like absolutely everything that we're doing so they can come to everything, hopefully, fingers crossed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you a little idea of kind of what to expect and also how to prepare and what to do during Freshers Week. If you yourself have done freshers already, please leave down in the comments below for anyone who hasn't yet any other tips that I haven't said that you think would help out. And also if you are about to become a fresher, let me know down below if you have any questions about freshers weeks or just uni in general and I can answer them for you. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as well as it would mean the world to me. And also all of my other social media is linked down below, especially my Instagram because I'm about to go to Paris and Budapest and Bali so like my Instagram should fully be on its game very very soon so I'd appreciate a little follow over there if you didn't mind and anyway I will see you in my next video